Well, I think they are most of them untrue, and then there's always the chances of think somewhere in an organization as large as ours. But I've looked into it in depth, and as far as I can find out, and I'm almost certain of this, no employee of TAF had anything to do with the so-called firebombing. Now, this, I mean, I mean, we didn't make them, they didn't uh, throw them, no one showed anybody how to make them or show anybody how to throw them, nor no suggest to somebody that they throw them. You, you know, just absolutely none of this, had nothing to do with it. On the contrary, you know, whenever a neighborhood worker has, has heard anyone say anything about violence, either in, in jest or seriousness, they've always suggested a positive, you know, alternative, a, a legal and, and just alternative. TAP condemns violence. We've always condemned violence and have always, you know, really and truly worked for peace, harmony, justice, and love in the community. In that light, let's deal with a specific charge, that of uh, the fact that TAP has felons on the payroll. Well, Is this true? Yes. We are, well, felons who have served their time and have been been paroled, we're in the business of rehabilitation. You know, what do you want to do with, with people who uh, come out of prison? Shoot them or put them on welfare or, you know, give them a chance. And let me say this, that, that any felon on our payroll, you know, when he, he's expected to obey the law, you know, and work, but, you know, what, what else would you expect? 